Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are at Sioux Falls KOA Journey. It is literally right off the freeway. So I will have freeway noise, but when I'm inside the rig, for some reason the way the airstreams are shaped, I really don't hear that much outside noise. And the inside noise doesn't really go outside. So that's a good thing. I'm told I am in an 80 foot site and I can fit another car here or another truck here in the back and Aries the truck is in the front we are in space E06 this is supposed to be a premium site so it's nicely gapped however on this side they do have a little fence thing that's concrete I've got water and sewer water in water out 50 amps and everything looks good right now water pressure is oh I don't know how water pressure is I haven't turned on the faucet I am using this new rhino hose and I don't know whether I like it or not because at this end there isn't that locking thing so and it seems to be crumpling see it's crumpling I don't I don't like that so we might go back to the old hose I don't know yet we're gonna test it out in a couple more spots and if I don't like it we get rid of it but that's what it looks like right now left and right I did need to put down I did need to put down one level over here and every time I need to put down a level it's an extra 15 to 20 minutes of setting up so it took longer to set up today because the site's not level probably gonna go out to dinner tonight because I am just so tired that extra drive to the National Park in Nebraska was a an extra 220 miles of drive time so it added an extra four hours commute to get here to soy so uh, I, I know I pronounced it correctly the first time Soya City. Soy? Skoy? I don't know. All right. I'm gonna go find somewhere to eat. Impressions. I do like the park. It's nice and clean. We'll find out how I do with the freeway right next to me overnight. However, tonight we are walking to the, I don't know what you call it, their check-in place and because they're having a food truck tonight called southern comfort i really don't want to drive anywhere <laughs> and driving i'm over 400 miles today so hopefully it's not too salty Food truck, Southern Southern Barbecue. Oh, someone coming out of a fantasy RV tour. Number three. I don't think I like these. These are back ends. Yep, they're back ends. Oh, how unusual. I don't like this. Here's some more. I don't like this. Yeah, they're back to back. 
We had this when we were in Alaska. Oh, their first tour. I wonder how they liked it. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm having rice with it. Today we are at Pipestone National Monument in Pipestone, Minnesota. The story of this stone and the pipes made from it spans four centuries of plain Indian life. The evolution of the pipes influenced and was influenced by their makers association with white explorers, traders, soldiers, and settlers. Well, that doesn't really tell me anything. I don't know what, what this is. Okay, well, let's go see what it is. I have no clue what type stone is. Let's go take a look. Okay, it looks like they used to make the stones that are found here, they used to make pipes. These are beautiful. Do you have any questions that can help you with anything here? Or? No, I'm good. Okay. These are beautiful. Now the hummingbirds and the dragonflies and the, the hair sticks, that's made from the dust. Okay. Pipestone is a Native American quarry where they got these Catlin rocks and they made pipes out of it. And the pipes are passed on from generation to generation. And this is where they quarried it. So they are still allowed to mine the quarry here, but you need a permit. <laughs> and you need to prove that you are from an in one of the Indian tribes that can quarry the rock. So we're doing this three quarter mile trail. It goes around the park to one of the quarries. So, so far it's a good trail. It's nice and it's got a gentle slope. So we're just gonna film it. Thank you. 
they do have RV parking here, but it is limited to maybe six at the most, I would say. Pipestone. <laughs> right, I'm a Pipestone. I found this very interesting and historical, so it is worth visiting. It, I've been here for, say, an hour and a half watching the film, walking the three-quarter mile trail around, seeing all the quarries, really interesting. <sighs> Even bought some trinkets, uh, some some of their, what they make pipes out of, I, I no longer smoke, so I bought little turtle tokens, and I did not know this, in the Native American culture, a turtle signifies long life and longevity, and it means the same thing in Eastern culture also. Long life and longevity. Okay, we got off the freeway to go to Arby's, which is another block down. and We passed through this farmer's market. So wonderful. Love farmer's markets. This is what we ended up buying at the farmer's market. We bought these from different stalls. We did not buy anything at the one stall because he said everything was organic in his stall. I said, ew, you mean you're going to have bugs inside your... I said, ew, you're going to have bugs inside of all your fruits and vegetables? I No, I'm not into organic. And then the guy in the other stall heard me. I said... None of my produce have any bugs in it, so why don't you buy it from me? <laughs> That's what I ended up doing. I ended up buying it from him. So I bought these again from different stalls. Once they said they were organic, I got turned off. I'm not into organic because I actually want pesticides because I don't want to find dead bugs in my vegetables, which every time I bought organic, there has been dead bugs in sight. Oh. Don't like it. We are at the Missouri National Recreational River in O'Neill, Nebraska. The forested chalkstone bluffs, gently rolling bottomland, and abundant flora and fauna make this river especially picturesque. While its rich history ranges from Plain Indian tribes to Lewis and Clark, relive the past by making an exploration of the untamed and mighty river. Yeah, uh, welcome to our contact station. I won't bother you for too long. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> you can bother me all you want. I came here just for this. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's a stay at this park again the answer would be yes we do have the freeway right there behind us however the noise <laughs> really doesn't bother me and at 10 o'clock the freeway dies down and it picks up again at about five o'clock in the morning so if you don't mind freeway noise we really don't hear it that much in the airstream for some odd reason it muffles the sound 